A bench is a long seat on which multiple people may sit at the same time. Benches are typically made of wood, but may also be made of metal, stone, or other synthetic materials. Many benches have backrests, while others do not, and can be sat on from either side. Armrests are another common feature. In many American public areas, benches are often donated by persons or associations, which may then be indicated on it, example by a small plaque. This is a common form of memorial to somebody who has died. Benches can be both outdoors and indoors, but they are more commonly found outdoors. Hello D reviewer, welcome to our channel. Today we have brought to you garden bench design ideas or metal frame bench design ideas for your inspiration. You can use these ideas to try to make your own pieces at home. Watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring idea for your next project. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Outdoor benches are the ideal choice in many ways. There are several garden bench ideas to choose from. If you are looking for garden ideas to beautify our garden, consider using a garden bench. Garden bench designs vary in size, shape and material of construction. We have gathered several bench design ideas for you to choose your next outdoor bench design idea. These bench ideas include wooden and metal bench types mostly. You can get several resources on how to make a D-garden bench ideas by searching on the internet and then try to make your own outdoor garden bench. Some of these could be design ideas from pallet old pallets or metal bench design ideas. You can also go for design ideas for small garden benches if you have space limitation. You can make metal bench ideas as beginner welding project. Welding projects in general and beginner welding projects in particular include several projects which you can tackle at home. Welding projects for beginners is a wide area of interest for many D enthusiasts. Welding project ideas range from simple decorative items to massive useful ones. Welding is an act of joining two metals. There are several D welding projects online for the novice welder to choose from. Welding projects ideas could simple or complex. As a general rule beginner welding project ideas should be fun beginner welding projects which teach the art and tricks of welding for beginners. Welding art projects for beginners could be created from readily available materials. There are several types of welding. The commonly used ones include arc welding, gas welding, MIG welding, TIG welding and others, depending on where you are and what your budget limits are. For beginner welding enthusiasts, there are some items which are welding projects to make money from. The used or scrap materials lying in your backyard or workshop are great items for improving your welding skills. Rebar welding projects are the best example. Often benches are simply named for the place they are used, regardless of whether this implies a specific design. Park benches are set as seating places within public parks and vary in the number of people they can seat. Garden benches are similar to public park benches, but are longer and offer more sitting places. Picnic tables, or catering buffet tables have benches as well as a table. These tables may have table legs which are collapsible, in order to expedite transport and storage. Scenic benches are situated to provide a more comfortable means of enjoying the contemplation of a beautiful landscape, a busy street scene, or less commonly a specific event. Perched benches are usually situated in high traffic areas to enable people to take a quick break. A storage bench is a combination of sitting space and a storage box, often used for keeping gardening supplies, or grill equipment. A form is a backless bench, 
that was used for seating in dining rooms, school rooms and law courts, can be leather, or upholstered fabric with or without a backrest. Wooden benches in early railway passenger cars Various types of benches are specifically designed for and or named after specific uses, such as leaning benches, or leaners, have been installed by some cities for people to rest against in public areas where there is no room for regular benches. Church benches and pews inside places of worship, which are sometimes equipped with an additional kneeling bench. Church benches and pews can come in various styles including traditional, modern and curved to match and complement the architectural styles and spaces of places of worship. A bench seat is a traditional seat installed in automobiles featuring a continuous pad running the full width of the cabin. A punishment bench is used to have a punishil eye and often be tied down on for the administration of a corporal punishment after which it may be specifically named, e.g. caning bench a bench, weight training, is used for fitness exercises, such as the bench press which is named after its use of a bench a communion bench is not used as a seat a piano bench offers usually one person seating a spanking bench, such as a caning bench, is specifically designed for a spanky to lie upon, possibly strapped down, while submitting to painting of the posterior swing seats are independently movable, suspended benches, used for play, or as a relaxing porch swing glider benches are similar to swing seats, but are not suspended, instead they have a mechanism under the seating area that allows the bench to rock back and forward according bench, or kissing bench, a two-seater with the seats pointing in opposite directions, thus almost facing each other a friendship bench in a school playground is where a child can go when they want someone to talk to the bench in a court benches come in a variety of different materials, but there are some venue standards that account for use, durability, and maintenance patterns. Adobe, Benko, type benches are made of packed earth often combined with a binder, such as straw. They are found throughout the world in countries that use earth or mud construction techniques in both outdoor and indoor settings. Aluminum, aluminum benches are often found in outdoor, sideline settings at recreational venues like sports fields or courts, and as a complement to bleacher systems. The material affords for a lightweight, corrosive-free bench, so it is a portable and economical option for indoor or outdoor settings. Cast iron. Early outdoor benches were made of cast iron, among the earliest in America, were produced by the iron foundry chains, B and company in the mid-19th century. Concrete. Concrete benches are very heavy and are a more permanent furnishing. They are often installed in facilities that are not expected to change or transition often, if at all, such as military bases, state parks and official buildings. Concrete is very durable, so it is appropriate for any climate. Concrete can be composed of many different materials to afford benches different accents, depending on what it is composed of. Fiberglass. Fiberglass is a versatile material, so fiberglass benches can come in a variety of designs and finishes or colors. The material is great for indoor or outdoor use, because it will not corrode or rust, is very low maintenance, and can be manufactured to complement any facility. Common places where fiberglass benches are installed include food courts, restaurants, and office buildings. Powder coated steel. Powder coated steel benches are often found lining entryways for different venues, like retail centers, medical facilities, and country clubs. While powder coat is a common finish on many commercial site furnishings, it is often featured on strap metal benches because of its anti-corrosive qualities and ability to strongly bond to heavy-duty steel constructions. Powder-coated benches also come in a variety of colors and designs, 
from classic strap metal benches to extremely intricate designs. Recycled plastic. Recycled plastic benches are low maintenance, available in a variety of colors and styles, and are appropriate for any environment, including typically corrosive salty, oceanside facilities. Recycled plastic components can vary based on the manufacturer, but it is commonplace that a high percentage is post-consumer material and will contribute to LEED certification. For these reasons, they are commonly found at a wide range of venues, including convention centers, office buildings, universities, retail centers, schools and stadiums. Thermoplastic. Thermoplastic is an environmentally friendly coating for metal benches. Thermoplastic benches are very commonplace, located in facilities ranging from schools, parks, recreational spaces and office buildings. The material itself is graffiti-resistant and easily repairable, as opposed to other metal coatings, and, with a thorough coat, will help a metal bench withstand a variety of climates. There are endless color options and six different common pattern styles. Expanded metal, perforated metal, strap style, welded wire, diamond pattern and rod style. Expanded metal is often seen in casual park settings, featuring a lattice-like look, while strap style can be commonly featured trail side or embellishing a sidewalk. Wood. Wood benches are a very high maintenance option because they need to be regularly treated with an insect repellent or coated with polyurethane or similar coating to maximize the life of the material. They are typically found along walking trails and state parks, while high-quality wood products like teak, redwood and mahogany are commonly found in residential furniture lines, resorts and restaurant settings. Other common lumber furnishing materials include oak and southern yellow pine. There are a number of ways to use a bench. Standard usage involves sitting on the seat facing a direction perpendicular to the long axis of the bench. If there is a backrest, this direction must be away from the backrest. Some others include raised position. Here, one sits on the backrest which must be present. Soup in position. Daydream position. Here, one lies down on the ground and props their feet up on the seat. Lowered position. Here, one sits on the ground and leans their back against the seat. Reverse position. Here, one sits on the seat facing the side containing the backrest, which must be present. Side position. Here, one sits on the seat facing parallel to the long axis of the bench. One's legs are on opposite sides of the bench, 